Welcome back to Basement Video Podcast with your host John and co-host today, Andrew. That's new. Hi. Hi, everybody. I'm so everyone else is working. Yeah, everyone. Everyone else is working, so it's just me and Andrew today. We're a bunch of losers who has jobs. We do. Yeah, yeah, jobs are for losers. That's a known fact. Yeah, obviously. Um, So the day after we did the Chippendale video, I got a bunch of stuff I forgot I ordered in the mail. Yeah? What'd you get? Yeah. I got it. Here, let me, I gotta see myself so I can make sure everything's cool and kosher, <laughs> you know? I got it, the best of Roger Rabbit shorts on VHS. Oh, shit, dude. That would have fit perfectly if you had it last week. Yeah. I know. Or and earlier this week. I didn't. I, I knew these were a thing. I knew these were a thing, but I always thought they were stupid, but now I got like five of them and they're pretty dope. I got this little Funko uh, Dale. Is that Funko? <laughs> yeah, they're like tiny little ones. They're like a Disney oh, the afternoon, pop, like mini. Or uh, the sodas, right? Mystery minis. No, no, these came in like little mystery mini boxes. Oh. Like you didn't know what you were getting when you bought them. Okay, okay. Those are cool. I got Gadget. Nice. Apparently this one's like a $20 figure. That one's cool. I like the art style yeah, like, in that one. Yeah, me too. And then there's other characters but that aren't Chippendale, but Darkwing Duck, I got... Uh, I knew her name up until I started showing her. Wow, um, dude. You know, everyone's, Darkwing everyone's... Duck's the adoptive daughter. <laughs> Don't know this guy's name either. The kid from Tailspin. <laughs> You're doing great. Everyone's Thanks, so right? impressed. And then... And either Huey, Dewey, or Louie, uh, one of them in their uh, camp outfit, which is dope. <laughs> it looks like he's got a big turd on his head, bro. It's his little hat. It's oh, like supposed it's, to be like a log. Okay, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With the with the tail on the back. <laughs> all right. I don't know. I like these. I'm going to get them all now. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> Just keep adding to that yeah, collection. Dude. If you got to. I don't have enough, you know. Right. Not enough stuff. I agree. It happens, man. So, John, right, what are we, so what are we here to talk about today, bud? What's the pressing uh, matter? News of the week. News of the week. Well, Entertainment news of the week, not the bad news of the week. Well, it's not even just of the week, because some of this news is not from this week. But well, I guess, yeah, some of it came out last week, but most of it's this week, or like it ended this week, or stuff like that. Yeah. So we're just kind of like going over Stranger Things, uh, the poster pretty much. There wasn't a trailer. No. We're gonna be talking about the Doctor Strange trailer from the Super Bowl. We're gonna be talking about uh, Peacemaker as a whole, I guess, but mostly the ending. We got the Nope trailer we're gonna talk about, and then Studio Six Six Six, the Dave Girl and Foo Fighters horror movie that's coming out like this week. <laughs> yeah, the Foo Fighters. I just heard about yesterday. As I coined yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> foo shining, yeah. The foo shining, yeah. <laughs> so, all right. So, yeah, you've you've watched all Stranger Things, right? Right. What do you think this is about? <laughs> the new season, because so I all think, the trailers are like teasers. We guys just hey, look, uh, Hopper's in Russia still. Yeah. So, it's uh, like even the posters are alluding to it's going to be in taking place in multiple areas. Probably Hopper's going to yeah. be involved in Russia. Uh, Mike's gonna be involved yeah. in where? Where are they from originally? I think it was like a Chicago area, but I'm not sure. Right. So Mike will be there. Uh, Eleven's in California, and then there's with one more. Will, isn't it? What? The Eleven moved with Will and his brother and mom, and the then she last season to California or wherever they were moving to. Maybe I think so. Because remember the whole ending where she drove away from Mike. Right, right. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, she's probably with so, yeah. Will in California then. And so they're, she, her and Mike are still talking, and she's, like, telling them that things are all good, but by the trailer it seems like things aren't all good. And, uh, you know, the classic, the classic move. And uh, yeah, then they, they plan on, like, meeting for spring break or something, right? Yeah. I don't know about this stuff. What? starting to lose its magic the stranger things I think, that, I think that every year because it takes fucking eight years for it to come out with a new season every year it takes eight years <laughs> like this this the last one we got was 2019 like the middle of 2019 yeah but because of the the panda express they couldn't do a lot of stuff you know 
That's a horrible excuse since everything else kept running in Hollywood. Yeah, I guess. Did everything keep running, though? Because there was, like, going... a... What? Everything usually... Like, they're usually filming, especially a show like Stranger Things, either before or just after or during the season that's out is out. Right. It comes out. Yeah, I agree, but... It's been through... Then, it was, so that would have been 2019, and then they released it, and then they were like, okay, we're going to start working on this, but then what if they didn't get most of the stuff they needed filmed? Because I'm assuming, like, with Stranger Things, they have, like, some practicals, they have CGI, all that shit takes time and money, right? Second season didn't take that long. <laughs> okay, bud. But was the second season as crazy as, say, the third? For, like, effects and... second one kind of was shitty. Not for anything, just all around, I feel. Yeah, I kind of agree, First too. one, dope. Second one's shitty. Third one kind of brought it back. And now this one, I don't know what they're doing. Well, I think they're just, like, kind of expanding the story, and it could end up being really cool in the end. Yeah, it probably will be. And they said this is they're going to do this one in two parts, so I don't know if half the season comes out in May and then the other half comes out in July, they said. And then the fifth season's going to be the last season. Well, at least they know to end it. I hate when they just keep stretching shows on and there's no point. The story's done. I feel like they already are with Stranger Things, though. Yeah, I mean... If there was no end credits on the first season, it could have been over. Right. You're right. The first season could have... Like, they had good resolve and everything. And then the second season yeah, it was just like... Uh, they're like, oh, we know this is going to do great, so we might as well just go in and do a second one. We already got him hooked. If Will, didn't, if Will didn't puke up that little worm baby in the sink, then it's season one's the end. <laughs> right. But yeah, I don't know. But Will had to go and puke. Will got pregnant, you know? Sometimes that'll happen, you know, to the little boys. Yeah, yeah it does happen. <laughs> you want to talk about Nope now? Nope, yeah. So did you watch the trailer? Yeah, I watched it a couple times. Seems, uh... So what do you think it is now? I'm hoping aliens. Well, that's it, what it seems like. It definitely seems much more like aliens. But I was kind of hoping, after someone said the Benjamin Franklin theory in their last time we were talking about it, that it would have something to do with that. And I don't know. Yeah. It might still... Uh, that would have been cool. Yeah. That would have been pretty cool. I don't know. It seems like aliens. It's, what I got, the vibe from it I got was... uh Signs, like literally yeah. like the same kind of thing. Yeah, it is very signs like. But then I don't know. He always puts like obviously gonna be better writing and acting and shit. But then he always puts like the racial spin on stuff, and from like the trailer, you can see it's yeah. already kind of about that. And I wonder how yeah. that's gonna play into the story with aliens and stuff. If it is about aliens, I don't. I don't know. He always does something crazy. It probably isn't about aliens, to be honest. <laughs> he just True. that's making it seem like it's about aliens. Yeah, and then last minute he's gonna be like, nope, <laughs> nope. It's Abraham Lincoln. I don't know. What uh, Benjamin who was Franklin? It? Ben Franklin. Yeah. Ben Franklin back from the dead. I don't know. Be we still funny. from this trail. We don't know much. Right. It's pretty vague, but it, it looks interesting for yeah. sure. It's got a good yeah, cast. Yeah, it's got a lot of good people in it. Yeah. Geeky Palmer's funny. Fucking Glenn from Walking Dead. Yep. He's gonna be Last time him. I saw him, his eyes, eye was popping out. Yeah, same. <laughs> it's about time to bring back Glenn, you know? Yeah. Uh, what other quick uh, trailer can we talk about before we get into the big boys? Oh, Studio 666. All right. You so, said you're excited about this one after watching it. Yeah, it seems, uh, like I said, I coined it the Foo Shining, and it just seems like it's going to be a rock version yeah. of The Shining, which is going to be cool. I thought it was weird, because uh, in the trailer, when uh, Dave Grohl starts losing his mind, they don't reference The Shining. They reference One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, which right. is another uh, Jack Nicholson movie. <laughs> right. I watched another thing about this movie where they were getting all interviewed about it, and they set up a clip, and they didn't explain anything about it. And it's just a clip of Dave Grohl singing Hello by uh, Lionel Richie. 
And Lionel Richie just walks in, grabs him on the shoulder, and is like, that's my fucking song. You don't fuck with my fucking song. <laughs> so he's in the movie, too. Lionel Richie. And I guess, like, Dave Grohl's like, they wrote that in the script. Like, I'm actually friends with Lionel Richie, and they didn't know that. And I just texted him, asked if he wanted to be a horror movie, and he his exact words were, uh, for sure, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Lionel Richie. Uh, classic move. <laughs> Get the line along. I don't know. This this is interesting though. This reminds me of like seventies, eighties, uh, like uh, when bands used to do movies, <laughs> like the Rock and Roll High School with the Ramones. Gene yeah. Simmons has been in a few horror movies. Dallas Cooper. The Kiss had their own movie too. Or were they part of it? Detroit Rock City. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, Detroit Rock City. Uh, Gene Simmons might have been in it. I don't know. I know Ron Jeremy was in it, and he's not a good guy anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Ron Jeremy. Yeah, he's he's uh he's everyone's idol. You know, great guy. No. Ron Jeremy. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, this movie looks interesting. I think it's definitely a fun movie. I don't think yeah. it's gonna be anything special, but it'll be fun the whole way. No, for sure. It looks like it's gonna be a good time. Yeah. Um I like Dave Grohl. Usually he's pretty funny besides the whole in the back of my head I always wonder if he had something to do with murdering Kurt Cobain, but he seems like a fun guy besides that. Okay, well, let's get into that a little bit. Why do you think that? I don't know. He already had a solo album ready to come out the year he died or a year after he died. Yeah, but of the of the people who could potentially be involved based on speculation, who's more likely? It's him? either it's either Axl Rose, Courtney Love, or uh, Dave Grohl. <laughs> Why Axl Rose? They had huge beef. Did they? Yeah, they were. All, Axl Rose hated them because they, just like I'm sure Motley Crue, Poison, and Def Leppard hated them because they changed the music scene and they weren't popular anymore. But right. him and Axl Rose actually had like arguments and shit. Are you staying up on Pam and Tommy? Yeah, I'm caught up. Did you see uh, how that kind of came into play in that show now? With Theory of a Dead Man? Yeah, yeah. It, it's happened the last two episodes. Oh, Theory. No, it was Third Eye Blind. Oh, Third Eye Blind, yeah. right. Yeah, yeah. In, the episode, yeah, yeah. in the episode before, though, he's even bitching. Or not really bitching. He's just watching that show while Pam's at work about how they're named shit, pretty much. Right, right. <laughs> Seattle's the new town of rock or whatever. Right. And he's like, no, he's like, fuck, fuck Seattle, Seattle, man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Pam like Tom is show? dope. I don't know how they got away. Oh, yeah, it's sick, but I don't know how they got away with like just being able to do that yeah apparently <laughs> like apparently like uh pam, pam anderson, anderson didn't want it at all she's very upset about it yeah and courtney loves well because like as you can see in the show what courtney loves the one courtney who came loves out. It, no she's the one who came out and said that pamela anderson was really upset about it and didn't want it to happen oh <laughs> what? Like, that's what? your first mistake pamela your friends with courtney love yeah right but yeah, I don't know, cause like, uh, it's weird. Cause even Tommy Lee seems kind of like a dick about it. I was watching, Devo posted a clip of his podcast of like I think he interviewed Tommy Lee like a year ago. Yeah. And one of the guys asked him, cause he was talking about how his mom, Tommy Lee used to make up fake names to get into hotels, and it'd be like, uh, Peter Gozinha, yeah. and like that's the name or like huge penis or whatever. Right. And he had to tell his mom those names when she come to visit him because those are names he's under at the hotel. And she was like, "Oh, my mom was so disappointed about that." Blah blah. And then the one guy's like, "Well, how'd she feel about the sex tape?" And Tommy Lee's like, "Oh, she was on our side. Like, you know, it was just some normal couple dude, and they got stolen." And then he's like, "Yeah, but now the whole world knows I have a big dick. You know, I'm known as the guy with the big dog." So he like seems like that's all he got from it. And Ben yeah. Anderson it kind of borderline ruined her career and just yeah, she because like she started out as a playboy playmate. But then she was, like, going up and, like, more, like, Baywatch wasn't, it's a serious show, but, like, I feel like she got taken more seriously because of that. She was doing these, and then that happened, and then she was just kind of, like, a joke. Right, exactly. And now she's, like, the a spokesperson for PETA. Yeah, which isn't horrible, I guess, but it's not yeah. the best. Yeah, she could have <laughs> she could have been so much more, I feel. Well, it's just, like, imagine the worst situation that's ever happened in your life and people are like yo we made a tv show with seth rogan about it and put it on disney plus yeah and now we're exploiting it further after it's already been yeah, exploited. Like, I, thought it was, I think it's kind of ironic that the whole show is about 
how there no porn company wants to put out um, like this video because they don't have releases. But Disney Plus is cool with putting out a show about their lives without Pamela Anderson wanting them to. Yeah, right. It's like they they just took the exact <laughs> fucking approach as Seth Rogen's character in the show, and then they then yeah, exactly. and then they made a character based off their move. And they're just like, yeah, this is what happened. This is what we're doing now. Yeah, exactly. It's fucking stupid. Real stupid. Well, anyways, poor Pamela. And yeah. we want to talk about Dr. Stranger, uh, Peacemaker first. Um. Well, what do you want to? What do you, What do you think's the banger here? Let's, uh, Doctor Strange. Let's get That's into what Peacemaker. I was thinking too. So let's go to Peacemaker then. All right. So, Peacemaker. I don't know. I think it's one of the greatest shows on TV. <laughs> it was really good. It was like, like uh, genre. Yeah, and like it's it's one of those movies that yeah, it gets you laughing. It gets you into the action and like it it kind of makes you yeah, drama. So. Yeah, just like everything everything drama, you're looking for drama, is there. Drama. Yeah. yeah. The theme song alone, like I remember when we watched it, it was dope. The first time when I showed you it. Yeah, but then after I watched it, like I was like binge watching it yesterday. After I watched it like two yeah. times, I was like, okay, this sucks. This is annoying. <laughs> I, I watched it every fucking time. <laughs> but I wasn't watching a binge, I guess. The, only the first three I did that. The rest I was watching week by week. Yeah, I watched the rest like all together. Because I, I hate waiting, man. I'd rather just yeah. get it all well, I guess we can... We can mainly talk about the finale, I guess, for the last two episodes, because those were the real bangers. I mean, um, the whole series had, like, it, it was well-written, and I feel like yeah. you can't discredit everything else, because it had good story building, too. Yeah, no, I'm not trying to discredit it, I just mean, like, it's all building up to well, the last two episodes. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> like, Is there going to be a second are. season of this? Yeah, it got renewed like yesterday. Okay, sick. Hey, can we take a quick break first? Yeah. And we're back. And we're back. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so let's get in the Peacemaker, I guess. Uh, I'll talk about some of the characters I thought looked pretty cool compared to comics. Yeah. I guess we can do uh, uh, Judo Wait, Master first. Before we do that, what? who's your favorite character? Uh, Peacemaker. He's your favorite character? Yeah. Okay. I like, uh, Tasty's pretty cool. I forget her real name, but she's Adebayo? Tasty in uh, Orange is the New Black. Adebayo? Is her real name? Yeah, I like her. I knew, I knew somebody with that name in real life before. Should have got him on here to talk about it. Nah, I don't think he would have wanted to. <laughs> huh. Living a different kind yeah, you of got life. The judo what? You see Judo Master? Yeah. The picture. But why do you think they changed his costume? I don't know. Maybe they just didn't like the the other costume, or because it has like the rising sun. Strictly. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> yeah, that's probably not good. <laughs> well, it's funny because they changed that because of that because it's. I guess somewhat racist in a different way, but then they let's go take a look at uh, the White Dragon. Like, <laughs> no, no problem there. Let's try to make it as real as possible. <laughs> <laughs> like it is. It's, he's not as uh, over the top as the comic, but it looks pretty. I think the face looks better than the comic. Yeah. Well, it, uh, people were like, comparing the colors to Tony Stark's uh, quantum suit. Yeah, I kind of. I was thinking that too, especially when he like flies in. I was like, "What is this fucking Iron Man here?" But people were. Oh wait, never mind. This is Marvel. Yeah. <sighs> People were thinking they were going to do a uh, collab, universe collide. Yeah, I heard about that. Yeah. Which well, they've done it in comics, so I don't think it's too far-fetched. Yeah, for you're going to introduce that in Peacemaker? <laughs> That'd be crazy. <laughs> it would be cool. Yeah. I don't know. I thought his character obviously was a piece of shit, but I felt it was pretty cool that, like how they dealt with the trauma of Peacemaker and him. Yeah, and how like his dad for killing his brother, even though his dad's the one who pretty much made him kill his brother. Right, because he swore him up to fight. He's like, "Yep, go fight, fight to the death or whatever." 
Like, and then not only are you a Nazi, you're making your kids fight in the backyard for your friends. <laughs> yeah, and they're like betting on them. Were they betting on them? Yeah, they were betting on who's gonna win. That's pretty crazy, man. It's like dog fighting with in kids. The, yeah, in the comics, he was actually like an actual Nazi that was in World War Two. But James Gunn's like, I don't think John Cena's old enough to have a dad that was in World War Two, so we just made him a modern day Nazi. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I mean, it makes sense. John Cena is yeah, definitely not, not that old. Different. No. But I feel like John Cena was a good peacemaker. But, like, while yeah, I was watching this, man, his proportions are so fucking crazy. Like, the. Yeah, I know. He's a big boy. Yeah, he's fucked. Well, <laughs> you think that's he all did, him. Think he did a lot of steroids? You can see the ripples. Yeah. He definitely has at one point. Yeah. He Vince just McMahon like makes them do lots of weird stuff. But like, I don't know. I don't know if they're like trying to emphasize the fact that he's so big. But like, I mean, hey, I gotta. Re- uh, sorry, hmm. I have to say this to redeem myself. Her name is Goslin. You looked it up. It doesn't count. No, I literally just popped in my head while I was playing with her in my hands. Oh, okay, okay, that's fair. <laughs> I promise. <laughs> All right. All right, Scout's honor. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Scout's honor. <laughs> um. But yeah. Cool. He's big. Yeah. He's, he's just fucking huge, and it doesn't even like. It almost doesn't make sense the way his his body's shaped. You know what I'm saying? Like he's just stupidly yeah. big. It's weird. <laughs> Pretty cool. Yeah. But I don't know if they were he's like. If they were trying to make it look even bigger, or if that's just the way he actually looks, but yeah, it's fucked. I'm pretty sure that's how he looks. But like, is there anything else I've seen him? When he looks like that. Yeah, I guess. Like in the movie, like Cock Blockers, where he was in, he was just playing a dad. They just put like baggier clothes on him, oh, so really? you didn't tell it was that Jack. Because like he was in like uh, step uh, stepdads or something like that. Daddy's home, something like that. Daddy's home, yeah. Yeah, yeah. The second one, wasn't it? Yeah. And even then, he just kind of looked like a, a normal kind of guy. But he was also, like, across the street from Mark Wahlberg. So, who really knows? Right? Yeah, Mark Wahlberg's a little boy. He's pretty small. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, that was Peacemaker, eh? Um, do you want to go? Well, I don't know. Vigil Andy looks pretty much exactly, eh? Yeah. Besides the belt. And, like, the little cuffs like around that. his wrist. That's pretty different, too. But, yeah, they they changed the color of his belt. He still had a belt. It was just a different color. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't know. They, I thought... They added, like, I a, liked him as a, a backpack. Yeah, I liked him as a character, too. Because he's so fucking stupid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he seems like... He's, like, a good sidekick kind of character, though, you know? Because he's just, like... He's, oh, yeah. He's 100%. just dumb, but he's like, yeah, I'll do whatever, man. When he like when we first meet him, I think it is when he uh, uh, peacemaker thinks he's gonna like come on him. He's like, "I'm not turning around. I know your dicks." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I know I'm gonna turn around. You're gonna come right in my face. Classic move. Everybody <laughs> does that. Everybody knows that. <laughs> <laughs> um, what did you think about the big alien cow? That thing was terrifying. Yeah, but. I have nothing against it. I liked the whole story. I liked everything about the show. I just was thinking that this show is kind of like um, Star... You No, what's the fuck? The Starfish from Suicide Squad, where it, it pretty much oh. did its plan, but it actually got through most of it. Yeah, you're kind of right. It kind of looks like the same kind of like fleshy material as Star You too. But then... It kind of. Yeah. But I mean, like, the whole... Uh, the, f- the butterfly thing is all just what the starfish wanted to do. <laughs> right. So you're saying you think it's just kind of like an un- original idea, kind of? Well, even this... Like, I was just thinking, too, again. I was thinking again. And this show... Like, yeah, they're fighting the butterflies the whole series. But is the show even really about the butterflies? Or is it just the background shit for the... For the, the plebs that are watching this that don't appreciate, you know. Well, I feel like they needed a, a 
a plot and having the butterfly yeah, being like I mean. a alien race it, it like gave them something to tell their story against you know what i'm saying well i get it but i mean like i if they took it out i wouldn't even mind it yeah but what would what would they do then just deal with the uh, peacemaker's trauma <laughs> yeah, but I don't know. They need. They, I feel like they need a, a like an overarching story in order for it all to be an action. Yeah, no, they, they did. Yeah, I thought the butterflies looked cool. You see that close up pic I got? Yeah, the like the the effects they use and the way their eyes look and shit. It almost looks like yeah, a fucking real bug almost. Kind of. I like how he kept the one, eh? The one yeah. that he had in the jar in the middle of the season. He had he was feeding it on the porch with Eagly at the end of the show. And then that's the one he's like at the end. He's like, yeah, um, uh, or she's she lets him go because she's like, hey, we need your help now because uh, you killed all the rest of us. There's only two of us left. We need three people. You want to do it? And he's like, huh, no. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> that was funny. Uh. They did it for his friends, you know? Yeah. For his, for his right, boys. Let's get to the important part. The important part of the series. The Aquaman said fuck. What do you think about that? That was pretty cool. Uh, I wasn't expecting to see actually Jason Momoa because they kept like silhouetting them, right? So I yeah, didn't think. Because it wasn't actually Superman and Wonder Woman. Right, right, right. So I wasn't expecting them to actually be any of them. And then I saw. Then he like turned around and he's like, well, fuck. And then I was like, oh, shit. Nice. Yeah, I thought it was just going to be silhouetted and he walks through them while he yells at them. Yeah. But uh, I feel like it leads up to now they're going to try to do the Marvel thing where they incorporate their TV shows and movies more, which they already did with Barry Allen, right? No, they don't incorporate that at all. Well, he was in this. That's a different Flash. Oh, is it? This is the first, I think, DC show that acknowledges the movies. Oh, okay. But well, that, okay, Flash that was in this episode was in the Flash TV show, right. but it was when uh, a multiverse episode where he was just there for that because it was different, multiple Flash there, multiple heroes, but he was the only one from the movies in that. So oh. they kind of linked it with that, and I guess Grant Gustin, the one who plays the Flash in the TV show, might be in the... The Flashpoint, which is his version of the multiverse thing that Grant Gustin went through on the TV show, pretty much. So, in that case, yeah, but this is the first one saying it's in the same universe. Okay, okay. That's cool, though. So, it seems yeah. like they're probably going to open up more, like, movie potential where, like, all the Suicide Squad people will go against the Justice League folks again. Yeah, that'd be Well, James Gunn said, too, he's doing another... TV show about another um, person that was in the Suicide Squad movies, but it's not going to be as jokey. It's going to be more like serious. Did he say who? There's a scapula or speculation that it's the rat catcher, like that girl with oh, the yeah. rats. But I'm not sure. And then apparently there's talks about a Black Canary TV show that's linked to the movies, not the Arrow show on CW. Okay. Yeah. I would like to see more of King Shark, his story and stuff. Cause I like that character a lot. Watch the, watch the Harley Quinn show. He's in there. The what? The Harley Quinn show. There's a show for her already. Bef it's like the cartoon one that was out before. Suicide oh no, no no! I don't want a cartoon. I want to see the like. It's like the, an adult cartoon. Yeah, I know. No, I meant like it's I, funny. I want to see this universe. Well, there's a build a figure you can get of him. Perfect. Yeah, that's all I need. How it many comes with limbs that you can put in his mouth? Oh, that's cool. <laughs> 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 He's just got a little arm hanging out of his mouth. Literally. <laughs> that's dope. Oh, and they also because. Green Arrow has never been brought up in the movie, or I guess now movie slash TV show universe. And they, the first time he's brought up is uh, them saying that he's a brony that goes to conventions with a, with a four-inch hole drilled out the asshole. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then they're like, no, I've heard that's that's fact, actually. That's not the, that's the first yeah. one he didn't make up. <laughs> yeah, and then he's like, well, what about the Aquaman fucking? He's like, oh, everyone knows that one's true. 
Like fucking fish. Everyone knows you fuck fish. Get out of here. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I really like Peacemaker. I thought that ending was hilarious. Yeah. Yeah, it was definitely definitely good. I was I I feel like it was kind of like a it was kind of like a pick me ending though, in a way. Because How? like obviously like you knew Harcourt wasn't going to die, but if they made her die, oh. it would have changed the whole yeah, story. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I don't know. I liked her character too. Uh. She was good. I thought the the die, beer died was gonna die. Nah, that guy he came out. He had his badass like uh, redemption. He hopped the fence and broke his leg. Yeah, but then he <laughs> but then he gave Tasty the helmet with yeah. a broken leg. I thought it was funny though that even even the butterflies were like, "What was wrong with the human you picked? Why did he dye his beard like that?" Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> he just goes into like. What? How John Cena's been bugging him about it. <laughs> yeah. He's like, I didn't think anybody even noticed, but apparently everyone did. <laughs> Yo, Die Beard. Um, that's what it was, Die Beard, yeah. I don't know, I'm looking forward to season two. Yeah, it'll be, uh, it'll be interesting to see where it goes off. I mean, it could play off of the fact that there's still the one butterfly alive, but... I don't know. Well, I was watched this one thing, and they were saying that from it, Aquaman being in his first movie costume and Flash being in his Justice League costume, that means it takes place before the Aquaman 2 and Flashpoint movie that come out like later this year. Right. And season two, season 2 won't be out before that, so I don't know. Maybe Flashpoint will fuck around with Peacemaker because they're changing the universe. Right. It definitely could. It seemed like if they're able, taking the Marvel like approach... That's that's definitely yeah. likely. <laughs> I think it's funny that Flashpoint and Multiverse of Madness are coming out in the same year. <laughs> it's it's going to be like the same kind of thing. Yeah, different uh different companies but different. same deal. Yeah. Speaking so, of, but then then that goes back to our our theory about them combining them at some point. What if the Multiverse of Madness They're going to combine them at some point. I, the ten, 10 years down the road or something, there's going to be an Avengers vs. fucking Justice League. Yeah, there's got to be. Huh. Yeah. like They're probably going to do Avengers vs. X-Men first. Right. Well, I don't I know. So. Kevin Feige the other day actually said that there's never... The Endgame was the last Avengers movie. Oh, really? Yeah. But I don't yeah, know if he's just being... They still continue the Avengers movie. There's a Young story. Avengers movie. Yeah. Or yeah. Avengers There's a Young movie. Avengers. There's Dark Avengers. Yeah. Yeah, they'll be teams. There just won't be Avengers, probably. Because if you have the X Men and Fantastic Four, those are two different teams, but they don't. They're not going to be Avengers. Right. They could be, because some of them are, but I don't know. I don't know. It might not even end up being an Avengers movie specifically, but just like, um, based around the team, like they've been doing, where it just continues the story. Like but Civil War. Well, even Spider Man still had Avengers ties to it because like yeah. he talks to well, like Doctor Civil War literally had everyone, and that was a Captain America movie. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. I sometimes forget that that was a Captain America movie. Ragnarok was kind of fucking like that too. It had a lot of other characters as well. Yeah, they're always gonna have the characters. You just said there's not gonna be like another like team like arc. Apparently, right. he's not opposed to it, but as of now, there isn't one. Makes sense. I mean, they they went pretty far with it already, so. Yeah, 10 years. Yeah. It'd it'd be nice to see the heroes shine on their own for a bit, you know? Yeah. All right, what do you think about Doctor Strange trailer? Well, I don't know, man. There's just, there's so much going on. There's, because, well, obviously, they're going to do the classic IP flex, where they're going to show off all of their titles, probably. This might be yep. where X Men comes in. Yeah, and Fantastic Four. And Fantastic Four. There's rumors that this might be in the the Tobey Maguire Spider Man universe at some points. It could also bring in um, okay. Morpheus. Or no. go to the Not go Morpheus. to the third Doctor Strange picture, the one with all the Doctor Stranges and but like different universe ones. Which where where's that? 
where it's got the zombie, the multiple arms. Okay, yeah, yeah. You see the top one, the first one with the streak in his hair? Yeah. So that's, that's supposed to be, I guess, Defenders, Doctor Strange, because in the comics he was part of the Defenders, which had like Hulk, Spider-Man, Daredevil, and like ground-level heroes. That yeah. Are, like Avengers, whatever. And people are saying that there's a theory that that's in the Tobey Maguire universe that he's from, and after Far From Home, not Far From Home, No Way Home, that Tobey Maguire went back to his universe and started up the Defenders, and he's from that universe. Hmm. But, uh, so there's that theory. Do you think they're gonna go? Cause do you think they're gonna go ahead and do the the, the Amazing Spider-Man three? Oh, I don't know. Cause I feel uh, like Toby. I don't see. I don't know if they can go back to Toby's universe now. He's a little old. You know what I mean? But I guess they could. I don't know. It's just a different story. Well, Sam Raimi's the director of this movie, and it's kind of sketchy. Yeah. Oh yeah, cause he, he did the. All the- the Spider-Man, right? Like, yeah, he did all the Tom McGuire ones. Okay, okay. So maybe he is bringing it all so that's back. That's what people are thinking. They asked him to do this, yeah. Um, the zombie one is, I don't know. I didn't really watch What Not, but I saw this one. Well, not What Not. What, uh, what if? <laughs> Got What Not on the brain. <laughs> You've been um, buying too much but, shit. Uh, he's a zombie in that one. And the evil one with the arms is like, you know when he has all those arms and he made the multiple in the Infinity War? Mm. The multiple Doctor Strangers. That's supposed to be like the evil version of him doing yeah. that okay. same thing to attack him. Hmm. It's like a weird oh, combo. So right now we Doc know there's... Kind of. Right now we know there's one, two, three, four, five... At least five dimensions slash universes, whatever you want to call them, in this movie just from the Doctor Strange likenesses. So the one in the bottom or center right, or like the red one, red looking one, that's like the original, right? Yeah. I'm pretty sure, yeah. That's okay. the our universe. Yeah. Um, you want to look? Go back up two pictures. We'll talk about that quick. Yeah, with the so uh, the robots. Yeah, where where are so those people? Are, that's what I was just gonna say. People are thinking or speculating that those are Iron Man tech. Right, they and there, like there's rumors that Tom Cruise is going to be in this as Superior Iron Man, which is a different Iron Man from a different universe in this movie. I think Tom people are Cruise? saying it's going to be Tom Cruise, and he they're bringing him to like the Marvel version of the Illuminati. I and thought I'm pretty sure that's confirmed that they are. At first, I thought it was like the fucking TVA. It could be like a, they might branch it together, like the Illuminati is actually running the TVA or something. Right. But these sense. are these do look like dark tech and whatever. So here's my other question, right? So we have in Loki we have variants, right? And these are like people who don't belong in this dimension or whatever that have been put to the end of the timeline, right? Yep. So then saying the multiverse, so like. Loki allows for the multiverse to happen, right? Because the events that took in place... In that show, but him at the end of No Way Home opened up all this. Yeah, I know, but without Loki, like the show, I don't think he would have been able to open up the the multiverse to begin with in Spider-Man because the Maybe. TVA would they have might be getting st- stopped it or something like that. And now they're like, yo, what the fuck did you do? I don't know. They travel through time and endgame. Yeah, that's true. I don't know, man. It's a mess, Andrew. I don't know. I don't know what the fuck to tell you. It's I feel like even they're thinking that, too. They're like, wait, so how do we connect this with that? And then we, we contradicted this with that. So now we got to rewrite <laughs> yeah. this to be with that. And I'd hate to work for Disney. Pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> so who do you think the next picture is? Because there's a fuck ton of theories. Like that glowing person? Yeah. It's hard to fucking tell. It could be like, uh... Man, it looks like a combination of, like, a lot of people. I think I know who it is. Like, it looks like it has Star-Lord's mask, Iron Man's suit, and then it's glowing like fucking Captain Marvel. 
That's why I'm thinking it is because you can tell that it's an African American person. Obviously, I'm pretty right. sure. At least it looks like it. Kind of. Which makes me think that it's uh, from the universe where instead of Carol Danvers becoming Captain Marvel, it was her friend. Remember the the girl's mom from WandaVision? Mm, I didn't really watch WandaVision all the way. I couldn't well, keep up you know with the, the genes. Her friend from Captain Marvel? Yeah, kind of. Yeah. Her, and she became Captain Marvel in the other different universe because that looks like Captain Marvel. But then there's also people saying they think it's a human torch, but with something on. Or, it, I mean, uh, it does kind of look like fire around them, but then it looks like they have yeah. a shield. See that? That's what I was thinking too, but we don't know what Captain Marvel in that universe looks like. Or what anyone in that universe looks like, I guess. Right. Like, or, or what even universe it is, right? Exactly. And um, I think there's one other person people thought it was. Let me. Oh, maybe I'm wrong. That's it. So it's either those two Human Torch or Captain Marvel. Fuck, I, think, I thought there was one more. Oh, well. So the, the mask looks um, like it's Star Lord's mask, though. Well, is it even a mask or is it just a headband? And then the suit that goes up to the chin. Well, the eyes are like glowing, so I'd assume that's like a mask. Well, Captain Marvel's eyes can glow. Right. I don't know. It kind of looks like it's almost metallic, like on the forehead and then like around the eyes. So yeah. I'm thinking it's a mask. Maybe. I don't know. It could be like the, yeah, it could be Human Torch because of the flames, but then the blue in the mask and shit made me think it's Captain Marvel. But yeah, the blue, the blue throws me off for Human Torch. Because even if it's a blue flame, why would it? only be at the hand and the chest right. or unless that's both hands to be honest because the other hand kind of looks like it's at the chest yeah but the other hand is holding a shield it looks like where do you see a shield so like if you I don't know in it kind to me it looks like there's a shield there to me it looks like the bottom flames are where the legs are the arm on the left is kind of in a flexing motion oh, okay. I, see, right at I the, see what you're saying now so they're like flying at the camera like this, and then their yeah. legs are kind of behind them. That's what I thought it looked like a shield was their legs, I guess. And in the trailer, I'm pretty sure we this person is uh, rushing at uh, Wanda to fight her. Yeah. Because they have Wanda captured there, and they also have another character that we haven't seen in this universe yet. Named well, they have, America Chavez, which is a different... They have Captain two Marvel, Wandas, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, there's a few Wandas. Yeah. Because the one in the universe that goes back to Westwood or West or Westview and to see her at the house, to, yeah, from WandaVision, it looks like. Yeah, and then we get to go to the picture under all the uh, Doctor Strange's. So we get Rachel McAdams back as her character who died in the first Doctor Strange. So she's from another universe, and there's there's speculation that she could be the invisible woman from a different universe or the night nurse, which was Rosario Dawson in the daredevil Netflix universe. So I don't know if they're going to just cut her out because now I think they're going to make, well, they are canon because daredevil was in Spider-Man. So I don't know if Rosario Dawson's just cut from being night nurse or what, or maybe it's just a different or costume. Rachel McAdams just did. What do you mean? Night nurse? Who's Night Nurse? Like, I don't, I don't so like, know. Like, so in the Daredevil show, she, and, like, Luke Cage and all that, she'd be, like, the one who, like, she was a nurse at the hospital, and then Doctor, fucking Doctor Strange, uh, Daredevil, anytime he would get fucked up in a fight, he'd go to her, and she'd take care of him at night, so they call her Night Nurse. Oh, okay. She's in the comics. She does a lot more in the comics, I'm pretty sure, but she was in all the Netflix series shows. So what does she, what else does she do in the comics? I don't think she has any power. She literally just helps them out. Okay. I'm not 100% on that, though. But from what I gather from the Netflix show. But you're right. It could be like a, it could be like a Fantastic Four because either her hair or Doctor Strange would be covering the emblem if it is. Well, what's on her belt? Is that an N? I can't tell. It just looks like a buckle to me. Could be. I don't know. Well, and then the other character on their side is America Chavez, which she was the main character from what I played in the shitty Avengers game that came out like a year and a half ago. Mm-hmm. 
It wasn't shitty because she was in it. I just mean like it seemed like they rushed the game out and it was glitchy and shitty kind of. Right. But she's like, there's different Captain Marvels. Wait, um, and she's like one that can like extend her body kind of and make her fist big, kind of kind of like Mister Fantastic, I guess. But I don't really know much about her. Okay. She has nothing to do with like Captain Marvel that we know, but then she has the same name. I think. So maybe it's just another universe, Captain Marvel, then. Probably, because I don't know at all really anything about her. Right. I don't Someone, know. I'm there's really a theory interested. that she's working with, uh, with um, Rachel McAdams, who's apparently might be Night Nurse, and she's traveling the multiverse with her during all this. I'm really interested to see if they're going to reveal... Who these shadowy figures are, or if they're, they're gonna, just gonna fucking—they already they revealed one. Did they? In the trailer, you hear fucking Professor X's voice, like Patrick Stewart. Oh yeah, I guess that's like, true. Undeniably, his voice, and like where he's where Doctor Strange is standing right there, it looks like there's a big gap in the middle. And for concept art for this movie, they literally have Professor X in the like big, huge, like gold wheelchair that he was in in the animated series. Oh, that's sick. So that'd be cool if he was there, but I don't know. And then the Illuminati for Marvel, usually it's like Black Panther, Mr. Fantastic, Iron Man, Professor X, uh, Namor. Like, I don't know, just like the rich characters. Yeah. And like uh, to the left. So wait, it, it kind of looks like Black Panther. Be a Black Panther. Yeah. So are they going to bring it back as somebody else? They're. And they already said they're gonna make it one of the other characters. No, but like, they're gonna have him like die. Oh, oh, I see what you're saying. Okay, right, right, right. I remember that now. Because on the left, it kind of looks like the way they're sitting. From what you can see, it kind of looks like it could be a Black Panther with the yeah. tight clothes, like yeah. the tight costume on. Yeah, I agree. Uh, the one—I don't know who the other ones are, to be honest. The one—it's uh, like three from the right. Almost looks like it could be Thor. But that doesn't. Thor wouldn't. I don't yeah. think he's ever been in the Illuminati. But yeah. Doesn't seem to make sense. A lot of people think it's Superior Iron Man. Or it could be. Could it be Odin potentially? Odin's dead. True. Well, a different universe. So is Iron Man. That's usually like rich Earth characters, and most of the time. Okay. But uh, uh, Tom Cruise has said, I guess he's not in the movie. But there's yeah, still people thinking that he's going to be in this movie. <laughs> Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield also said they weren't in the last movie, that they were just yeah, in that's why no one believes anyone anymore. <laughs> yeah. And they're obviously going to pull from the A-listers, because that's what they've been doing, except for Spider-Man, pretty much. Yeah. So. Pretty much. Well, people think Fantastic Four and Doctor Doom are going to be introduced, which Doctor Doom could be in the Illuminati. Um... Yeah, the Defender, Doctor Strange, I already talked about. People think that Shuma Gorath, that like tentacle monster, is going to be chasing America Chavez through dimensions, and that's how they get there. Because in, uh, if you freeze frame the trailer, you can look in that reflection of Wanda's eyes, which I'm sure no one did, and you can see the reflection on the opposite side of her. It shows Amer- America Chavez in like a, like a enclosed. I wouldn't say cage because it's not metal, but like a glass box yeah and it seems like wanda's trying to help her get out i don't know is it a glass box or is it like a doctor strange fucking thing well it's at the illuminati place where they bring doctor strange oh okay all right all right that's fucking crazy and then uh i'm pretty still speculating that the the Strange Supreme becomes an ally for the normal Doctor Strange, like the bad one that looks like the bad one with the multiple arms. Right. People are saying, like, all the scenes that we see with him about to fight, he's not going to be fighting Doctor Strange or any of the good guys. He's going to be on their side. I think, like, there's just going to be so many more possible, or so many things that can open up from this movie that it's just going to completely change yeah. the landscape of the MCU right now because like they can bring back anybody really yeah make it a whole different fucking actor 
because it's a different dimension. <laughs> right, exactly. Like, they could have, I don't know, this could introduce the X-Men, and this is why the X-Men stay, because Doctor Strange fixes the multiverse, but I yeah, can't send people back, so the Fantastic Four and X-Men are here. <laughs> or, or they're doing what... They can't fix the multiverse at all, and it just stays open, and that's how it is now. Well, what DC did in the 80s in their comics, there was uh, the crisis on infinite Earths. And because uh, they had multiple dimensions and they were kind of just like not in the comics. They were like the writers were kind of like bored of just making everything in different dimensions and universes or whatever. Yeah. So they wanted to bring everything as one. And at the end, the Flash runs so fast around the Earth, he like sets everything back right, but he ends up dying. But then everyone's in the same universe. Hmm. So I don't know. Doctor Strange could die. Didn't I Superman do something do like that. that too where he flew around there so fast I brought people back in time yeah yeah <laughs> classic move dude yeah, fat, run, people that run can do that you know yeah those fast folks i think you saying bolted at once yeah uh that's that's how we got <laughs> the nike shoes from uh future or back to the future mm-hmm. that's how we got them yep you saying bolt he went back he grabbed them and brought them to nike you did it Fact. I'm sure they had the shoes still, but uh, oh yeah, I forgot about this too. So under the two under the one with the shadowy figures, click right. on that, like the zoom in of the poster. Yeah, you see from what if uh, Cap- Agent Carter's shield, right? Like when she becomes Captain America in that universe, and what if I noticed that? So she's too. That, so she's gonna be in that. That I assume it's gonna be a live action version of her because that actress is still uh, wants to. I assume I don't think they're gonna do a cartoon one. Right, and it's it's just gonna be Peggy Carter, right? Like the lady who played her originally. Yeah, yeah, but so in the in the what if she takes the super soldier serum instead of uh, Rogers, like Steve Rogers? And right, she gets I remember seeing the memes about becomes, that, and people yeah, were all yeah, yeah. like, "Oh, I like a big woman now." Like, yeah, okay, that's pretty much what's gonna be. Yeah, so. Get ready for that, folks. Enjoy your your basically Amazon Captain live action Air. Big Peggy. Yeah, Big Peggy. <laughs> oh, bro, you see Big Peggy? Oh, Big Peggy looking good, bro. All right. So then at the bottom here, you had a couple more things here, a couple links. You want to talk about those quick? Uh, the that last one I already did. That's what it, that was just for me right, when you're right, going through right. it, but I'll. So in the trailer, you see this green ox kind of guy when they're in, like, it kind of looks like an internals scene, but it's not. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. You just see the back of him. You can see the picture in that and the article. But yep. I didn't know who he was, so I just looked him up. But apparently he was, uh, he was worked with Doctor Strange in the 1986 issue of Doctor Strange to repair a tear in the cloak of Leviathan. And... Uh, so he's helped Doctor Strange before, I don't know. So I don't know if this guy, they pretty heavily emphasized him on this scene. So I assume he's going to be somewhat of a big part, at least in that universe that they're in in that scene. Yeah, definitely, because, like, he's main focus in the shot here. And, like, his yeah, like horns stretch the anything, whole screen. Definitely focused. Yeah. His horns stretch the whole screen. And I don't know so. who's, yeah, I don't know who's on that building in front of him, though. I don't know either. I don't know. It looks like just people coming in to, like, fight. But they're all archers. They're all Maybe both. it's of the time period, then, because it kind of looks like ancient times in that scene. Yeah. It looks like, uh... looks like somewhere, like, in China or something like that, too. But, like, the landscape and architecture around... I'm reading a different part of this article, and it's, they interviewed Patrick Stewart. Well, because he's doing Picard right now, kind of like that re uh, revisiting show of uh, Next Generation Star Trek. Because right. so he's like the main character, and they asked him like, "Oh, we saw it. We heard your voice in the Doctor Strange trailer." And he's like, "You know, people have been imitating my voice ever since I came on the stage 60 years ago. Uh, so I can't be held responsible for that." So he's still denying it, even though it's his voice <laughs> in the fucking trailer. <laughs> That's awesome. 
Everybody's always gonna <laughs> deny now, and now we're never gonna know who's in what movies. Yeah, Which we're never is gonna believe anyone. The craziest, the craziest thing, because people would do, like when you make movie posters back in the day, you put your your top celebrities on the top of the poster, so it's the first thing you see, right? And now they're yeah. like, oh, I don't know who's gonna be in it. Who's gonna be in it? You know, I don't know. Oh, well, I can look at Spider Man. You got fucking Tom Holland. You got Zendaya. You got fucking uh, ben- Benedict Cumberbatch. Those are fucking pretty big people. And then they throw Tobey Maguire, Andrew Garfield, William Defoe, right? Whoever the Doc Ock name is, like you throw everyone at us. Right. Jamie, Jamie the, Fox. Like the craziest thing though is like the fact that they didn't tell us beforehand that any of these people were in, and they're like, maybe, maybe they're gonna be in there, and then. People are like, well, I need to know. I need to know if they're going to be in there. And then that's what <laughs> sold the movie. Instead, where before it was like, yeah, these people are dead. You got to come and see these people. These people are dope. You know? Yeah, exactly. It's sick. I don't know. Marvel's got a whole different fucking game going on with movies than anyone else. They're playing 3D chess over there. Yeah, literally. Yeah. <laughs> fucking 5D, probably. <laughs> they're incorporating smells into their chess game, too, somehow. Probably. <laughs> that was like fucking organic fluid coming out of Tobey Maguire's wrist. Only his wrist. I didn't like the way you said that. <laughs> oh, I said it that way. Yeah, <laughs> Anything else you want to talk about, Doctor Strange? Um, what what well, you think is going to happen, maybe? Uh, just one thing I want to say, like commentary piece about it, is like, I'm excited about this movie because Doctor Strange movies, like the first one especially, like they always do the craziest effects and it's trippy as hell. And I'm really excited. Did you see his face? Yeah, when he goes Q. Yeah, but it's literally all the Doctor Stranges that we saw in that picture. Pieces of his one face like breaking off. So then that leads me to believe that as many cubes as there is in his face, that's how many universes there are. Could be. You never right. know. And that would be fucked. I don't know. But that, that even well, that they effect kinda, is sick. That effect what? It was sick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. They hint that, they've been hinting for a while, I guess. Not hinting, but like people have been assuming that Wanda's going to be somewhat of the bad guy. And they were kind of hint at that in the trailer where she's like, you make a mistake with the universe and you're the hero because you're trying to save it. I make a mistake with the universe and I'm the villain. That's not right. fair. Right. So it seems like she might be going crazy, maybe, in this. Yeah. Not well, crazy, but like just kind of sticking up for herself. and She's mad. When was the first time we see Wanda? Uh, Age of Ultron. And isn't there, like, isn't she kind of, like, unstable in Age of Ultron, too? The first time we really see her... Like really unstable, I guess, is one division. I feel like I feel like when she first she was a bad guy in that, but because she was trained by uh, Hydra, right? They kept her, so she didn't know what was right, what was wrong, or whatever. And then she was an Avenger, and she right. was fine after that. It seemed, but then they, the, and then Vision died, and they ripped him apart in front of her, and then <laughs> she kind of had that little episode in Westview. Yeah, so that's what I'm then, saying. What if, like, some of the Hydra sh- shit's coming back, and then now she's getting, like, all crazy because of the... I don't know if that's going to happen, but she she's definitely been dabbling in some dark magic. You can even see it there in the WandaVision. She's yeah. just fucking levitating in a cabin reading a spell book, and you can hear her kids that technically weren't real talking to her to come save her, <laughs> or save them. Yeah, because so technically now they're in a different dimension. Right. And she's like, so yeah, so, so she's kind of like unstable then, and this is after that, right? This is directly after No Way Home, which is directly after WandaVision, I'm pretty sure. Like, it with these characters. And where Loki's before everything. Like, it's right after the first Avengers, right? Well, there's people, that's, fuck, that's the third one I couldn't think of. People think that that's a Kang variant flying in. Oh, yeah, that could be sick. Yeah. I didn't even think about that. But at first I thought that, for some reason, I thought he was going to be in this to begin with. I don't know. They haven't really said anything yet. But, I mean, 
they kind of leave it open to be Kang because of Loki, and they're not just yeah. gonna, they're not just gonna introduce him to fuck him off. But I, I know season two of Loki's coming, so who knows what's gonna happen there? Yeah, true. And do All we right. know? Do we know when season two is coming out of Loki? No. No. So. There you go. All right, well, I think that's all we have for today. Yeah, chat you later. Thanks for watching. <laughs> <laughs> so enthusiastic. Oh, oh, sorry. Oh, chat you later, boys. See you later. <laughs> See you next time at Basement News. Check out uh, Patreon, and we'll do more Discord videos like this. Yep, we will. We will. Bye.